Hey guys, I'm Allison. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right now. And at the end of the video, if you liked it, be sure to leave a comment and like. So today I'm going to be doing a story time about the time someone stole my purse. I know. Who does that, right? People are just ridiculous. So this was quite a few years back. I was graduating from school and my mother asked me what did I want for um, my graduation gift. So I had had my eye on this cute little purse, you know, like in this day, everybody was wearing like these Ralph Lauren purses or whatever. And if I could find a picture, I'm gonna go ahead and insert it right there. Um, but yeah, everybody was wearing like these cute Ralph Lauren um, handbags and you know, they were my style. So I'm like, yeah, I want this Ralph Lauren purse or whatever. And um, she was like, okay, sure. So she went and she got me the bag, right? And I went out shopping with my aunt and my little cousin. And I don't, I think we went to um, this mall in her neighborhood. And we were inside of Payless. And you know, I saw shoes, so I got like shoe happy. I started trying on these heels and these sandals and these uh, flip flops and like all these different types of shoes. I was just like running around the store looking for random things and trying them on. So I think we had went somewhere prior to that, like Macy's or something. And I was looking around and I sat my purse down and my aunt had just warned me like, okay, you need to be careful with this bag because you keep setting it down and somebody, you know, will mess around and take this bag. So me not even really thinking nothing about it, like I was young, I probably was like 12 or 13, but I was like always like really stylish and wanting to have like the latest things or whatever. So I was pressed over this bag, like I'm telling y'all, back in around this time, this bag was hot. It was like the canvas material, and I think it said like RL or Ralph Lauren. It was cute, like if I had that bag today, I probably would still wear it. So anyhow, so we get in Payless, and like I said, I'm trying on all these shoes or whatever. And unconsciously, I sit the bag down, right? And I walk around to the side where my aunt was because I wear a seven, mostly a seven and a half, but sometimes a seven. So I was, you know, walked around to my aunt's side and she was like a 11 or something. So I walk over there to go show her the shoes and I come back and I'm like, what? Where's my bag? And I'm thinking, okay, maybe she had it over there on the side where she was. And she was like, no, it's, the bag is not here. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm losing my mind now because I just got this bag as a graduation gift. I've been wanting this bag for so, so long. And I'm walking around the whole store now looking to find my bag. Come to find out that bag was nowhere in the store, okay? Some dishonest creepy oh my god I, I, don't, I don't even have the vocabulary for them right now but a bona fide thief went up in that store saw my bag sitting there and just took it now i know you're probably thinking okay well why do you leave your bag there i mean i was like 12. i had just graduated from elementary school this is my elementary graduation um gift okay so i'm just leaving the sixth grade and i you know, just sat my bag down, not thinking that somebody was going to take it. You know what I mean? I didn't have any money in it at that age. It was mostly stuff like, you know, my little diary, my lip gloss, um, maybe some bracelets, lotion and stuff, you know, stuff like that. But nothing major. So I wasn't really thinking that anybody would be that dishonest to go and steal my purse. So I think I started crying, like I was so, so, so mad because I had just got that bag, man, and I wanted it so bad. But apparently somebody saw it fit that they, they needed it more than me or they wanted it more than me, more, more so to go and steal it from me, okay? And my aunt was like, see, I had told you about that bag, you know, just make sure that you're more responsible with your stuff or whatever. And I went home and told my mother, and I don't even, I don't remember if she got like upset about it or whatever. I think she was more so upset about the fact that somebody would have been that dishonest to just go and take something that they know wasn't theirs. It's one thing to like go in a store 
and steal from a store, which is bad, you know what I mean? But to steal from another human being, whether you know them or not, that's just low. That's probably as low as it gets because you don't know a person's struggle. You don't know if they saved up for a year to get that bag. You don't know, you know what I mean? You don't know if there was something valuable in there that belonged to their child or something that their deceased grandmother gave them. Like, you don't know. So to just go and take something from somebody that you clearly know don't belong to you and you don't know what their circumstances are was just downright wrong. But yeah, I, I was thinking about that actually this week and I was like, man, let me share it with you guys because sometimes people just do the craziest, craziest things. But guys, that is my story on the time my purse was stolen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe because there'll be a lot more story times as well as vlogs, fashion videos, hair videos, tip videos, and so much more coming to my channel. Love you guys so, so much. Have a great, great night.